good evening ladies and gentlemen I thought I'd uh, take you for a walk to the village before the street lamps get switched off in half an hour it's a misty evening out here in the Carpathian mountains I've already heard wolves howl three times very faintly from the hill in the distance it's a creepy night it really is. There's a very strange smell this evening. When the snow goes, the earth fills with a smell of rot and death. And it stays quite a while like this. This is definitely the sort of night where you could walk back into the 1920s or the 1870s through the mist and not even really notice it. Creepy. I'm quite enjoying this though. It's been a long time since I had that gothic feel once upon a midnight dreary while I pondered weak and weary oh, it's incredible if you see anybody walking behind me you know just shout yeah this far all I predicted in the last quarter of last year is coming to fruition, or well, we're starting to see the beginnings of it now, scarily enough. Hopefully you listen to my warnings and you started preparing back then. If not, there's still time. Start stocking up. Western governments are telling people that it's silly to stock up and that they should only have a couple of days food bought from the supermarkets. Don't listen to them. Really don't listen to them. Look for alternative fuel sources. Look for long life food products and obviously cycle through them. We're entering a new world. I hope you prepare for this. One thing I really, really wish we had, that would be positive hope for the future. When was the last time on the media or from a politician's mouth you heard a positive message? Something that wasn't fear or paranoia or anger or frustration or... When was the last time you were given hope. A lot of people don't like Elon Musk, but I do. And the main reason, he's a man who can't string one coherent sentence together, but if you listen to him, he always tries to give some hope for humanity's future. And I agree with him. We've burned through the resources on this planet. We do need to start colonising space if humanity has any chance of survival. We need to start finding positive leaders and replace these parasitic professional politicians. I mean, what the hell is a professional politician? Why would you think a politician would know how to run an education system or a health system? They know nothing about engineering. They know nothing about medical treatments. They are professional politicians. They studied politics. We need good people with hope for humanity and the planet. And we need it desperately. Everything is so upside down. So very, very wrong. Well, happy Tuesday everybody. As always, be free.